to go underneath the piano. I'm gonna play Clairdolin, and so somebody should go underneath the piano. It's like uh, your opportunity to experience the greatest moment of your life. Um, let's do it. <laughs> I came to New York in 2003 and I was being a pianist for ballet schools and ballet companies, but I really like performing. I really like to create music and see people positively, emotionally affected by it. And so I felt like street performing is for me, that's where it's at. And so. I was already a pianist and, and I thought most street performers need something unique and kind of that creates a spectacle and so I didn't see anybody bringing a piano around and, and, and I did. I've been out there like 13, 14 years and, and after that amount of time it's just like when you're constantly putting something up against scrutiny it just it, it gets better and better and better and so I think I figured out how to have a very meaningful impact on people. Uh, but the emotional state of things is very different now. Right now, New York City really, really needs awesome stuff. Pandemic has started in March, so I think New York is kind of famous for having that kind of like resilient attitude when things go wrong. Towards the end of the summer, the attitude started transitioning from we're resilient and we'll get through this to we need to accept the fact that there's going to be a new normal and it's not going to be pleasant. <laughs> I think that was that was sadder to me than than seeing the resilience. I think the the resilient part of New Yorkers is something that everybody loves to see. It's time for New York City to go back to being excited about things and about art. I love playing for crowds of New Yorkers and no tourists. It's like playing for a very diverse group of people who all think they can do it better. And so I'm having to try and kind of reinvent things so I can be better at what I do. I'm trying to figure out how to get over my emotional crap once, once you've reconciled your own emotional garbage, you can, you can do almost anything. And, uh, and so I think that's what I'm doing. Now, I still tell people I, I'm practicing, but I, I will spend a whole day just practicing breathing. Or I'll spend a whole day doing this weird stretching thing. If anybody wants to go underneath the piano, it's a really awesome experience. You won't regret, it's totally free. You just drop whatever it's worth to you in the bucket. I think when anyone is growing up in society and feels that their feelings are unimportant and in order to, to function in society, they have to push their feelings aside, I think that in itself is traumatic. I'm gonna play a piece of music, it's called Consolation. You can Think back in your past, something that happened that that didn't make you feel good. You can think about that thing while I'm playing this piece, and what it's going to do is it's going to make you feel better about it. It's like there's a whole part of the human being <laughs> that is unaddressed and desperately wants to be addressed, and I'm addressing it. Real love like really loving another person for real is awesome. It is the, the thing on earth for humans to shoot for. Like any person or group of people or community that is in a bad situation, ultimately like what it needs is real love. That's one of the reasons why I do what I do. I'm trying to get people underneath the piano and get them crying and have pe plenty of people see it and it makes them emotional. And 
Uh, Maybe but, I should come back for two more but, lessons. But, but hopefully it, 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 ch it chipped away at it a little That's bit. That's therapy. Thank <laughs> you. It's, it's really rewarding. It's really a beautiful thing. And it really makes you feel uh, better about being alive. People like to think of New York as a place where there's a thriving community that you want to be a part of. You can only really get that with, with love. It really is what makes humans and communities thrive and become beautiful and amazing and awesome and healthy. If anybody wants to leave a donation, I really appreciate whatever you can give. I went into quarantine like everybody else. I spent a lot of time thinking about life and, and the meaning of things. And then I ran out of money and now I'm back in the park. Um, so if anybody has anything to donate, I really appreciate it. If you want to do a Venmo donation, the Venmo name is everything will be okay. And I would very much like to live in a community that is beautiful and awesome and healthy.